Okay, so this is just a quick uh, guide on uh, how to approach the creation of, uh, of a basketball. So of course, uh, a sphere makes sense. Um, generally, when you model something, you want to try to keep uh, the detail as low as possible um, at any stage of the modeling, because you can always add more detail, but removing it is uh, kind of tricky. Um, so for this thing, I will probably say like 16 by 10. And then I want to create this, uh, this basketball shape. You, you all know how this shapes. So the way I'll do that is um, I'll go to my top view and I will grab the edges here like so and then I'll just unselect these and I'll delete these okay go back to go back to perspective and then I use my split polygon tool to just split this 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 note note that it, this is a square this is a square this is a square all of it is squares and that is uh, one of the uh, rules of thumb for creating uh, well working models for smoothing for instance okay so there we go so I have this so I have these nice lines going around the model here that I'll use for the basketball shape. So I'll smooth this um, geometrically so that it will actually be subdivided. And then I'll go in and go edge, and then I'll grab, mm, let's see, this one, this one, oh, sorry, wrong button, there, there, and there. So this is basically the lines I want to create as you can see here these are the the lines on the basketball that I want to create so to do that <coughs> what I do is I uh, use the bevel function so I go into the modeling I go edit mesh uh, bevel there we go and of course I can change the size of this by using the bevel or the offset um then I'll just go and subdivide this one more time. Um and that has to do with the fact that I want these to stay somewhat uh nice and oops, that's the wrong one. I was looking for texture there. Um this one. I want the Let's see here. I want these to stay relatively sharp, so that that's why I'm doing this the way I am. Um, so what I'll do is I will smooth this, okay, and uh, I will s turn down the continuity here, so to tighten it up a little bit, like so. Well, that is one option. Uh, the other one I can use that will also work is to uh, do a subdivide around these edges so uh, use the offset edge loop tool that, that will also work so if I do this and just do this like do a nice of course this is a little bit more work but it it works quite nicely uh, there we go. Just keep it close to the there and there. Okay. So I have these curves that are located nicely close. And if I smooth this, you can see that. Um, if I smooth this, you can see, I uh, press 3, you can see that it keeps the lines uh, quite nice uh, and close to the to the center there. So I'll go and grab face, and I'll grab, oh, right there, there you go, and let's see if I, there, and, and that I think should be all of them, yeah. Um, and then I'll 
use the extrude and I'll just uh, pull those in just a teeny bit I can use the thickness but I'll just drag them in a little bit like that okay. so the result is something like this this is smoothed this is non smoothed so of course uh, what I can do here is uh, I can look at my extrude base and I can change the amount of extrusion here so if I change the value a bit something that is uh, maybe Ooh, that's too much and see yeah okay so maybe this is uh, this is actually too much I'll just change that to maybe point seven oh. zero seven there we go so I have this um, and then I'll just grab these faces again Careful. Select the right pass. And then the final one over here. And then just grow the selection. And this part here should have a color here. That should oops. Um why didn't I get the coloring? But it comes up down here. I'll make that black. And I'll, of course, I'll use the classic hold shift select and then add uh, another one there and just make that orange for now. Okay, so this is in essence uh, a basketball. Um, I can change the, the width of the line, of course, by changing the bevel here. So if I change the offset, I'll make the lines thicker. So these can be tweaked to what you like. Um, as to the texture, I want to select uh, just the parts. Uh, we can see, let's take a look at the UVs. They look like this. They're not really what we want. Um, but um, what I'll do is I will use my hyper shade. And I'll use this one. Right click and go select objects for material. So that will select all of the orange ones. And then I'll use create UVs, spherical mapping. And then just uh, drag that all the way there. And let's have a look at how that works out. So this creates a rather nice uh, texture layout for just the orange parts. The black parts doesn't really matter because I'm not going to do anything to them. But this, this looks uh, pretty nice. Um, so I'll keep that and uh, then I want to texture this I want to add like a bumpy texture um, let's just turn on uh, high quality uh, find my hub shade there we go Grab my orange color uh, go to the bump mapping section and uh, what I'll do is I'll select the ramp and uh, the ramp I'll make uh, I'll make that white and black and I'll change the type to a circular ramp so get something like this and make this I can make it a bump or can I could make it smooth let's stay with smooth and I'll put this around 6.6 .6. And then I will use the tiling option. So we have this place 3D. Sometimes you have to trigger it by selecting, or you actually have to go to the hypershade. Uh, let's see, hypershade. Oops, there we go. So you can see we have the material here. Just select the up and down stream node, and you can see this is the place 2D texture node that I, I'm looking for. So I'll tile this. Now let's just give it like 60 in each direction something like that, I need to turn on texture, there we go so you can see 60 is uh, still not enough but what I want to show is that if I turn on stagger it'll do this little nice thing and then maybe have it like 256 by 256 and perhaps it's a bit too much 128 128 not, it's not too bad. 
solid. It doesn't look, doesn't look too good in there. No thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, so this is in viewport 2.0. You can see they are, they are a little bit squished. So maybe I need to make it more in this direction. Something like that was too much. Maybe 192. That looks better. And then I'll just have to take a look at how these are arranged. Maybe I should just select bump instead. My bump is, uh, it looks like it's actually, looks slightly inverted to me actually. So let's just try and, no, that is inverted definitely. So like so, maybe exponential up. We'll use this. This use looks really nice. Um, of course, it, it looks a little stretchy up here. So what we could do instead was like um, actually create a bitmap texture where we could bitmap different parts of the model. But this is just a quick and dirty version, and then create a polygon plane. There. Whoops. Scale up. Just there we go, and then just let's have a render of that. This is my software. Let's just get a, oh, that was actually a mental ray. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little more detail as to what is going on there. I think the bumps are actually too intense. So, what I'll do is I will grab the material. And find that bump. And actually, I need to go there, set it to point 0.1, and then see what happens. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe less. Yeah, this looks, looks fairly nice. Let's just go close here so we can see what's going on. In there, yes, this looks okay. Um, of course, I could keep on tweaking this and maybe make this fade towards the edges, take too much map each of these uh, separately, and things like that. But I'll just leave it at this. Um, could also check and just go one last thing here. Uh, shade, grab this, and then use uh, automatic mapping, which is basically like a cube. So you go project, and what I get is this, and yeah, well, this this doesn't look entirely right, but it. If I did one patch each, they would probably look nice. There's, there will be some discrepancies here, but if I did a patch each, I would be able to do something. So anyway, I'll go back to the other one. Yeah, oh. there you go. <clears throat> I can see there's some overlap here. Oh, that's the black lines. So. Well, that's it. Um, how to quickly create a basketball.